Here we go. We have a petrol timing belt. This one's got active cylinder technology, which I will show you in a sec. My wonderful colleague, Dave, who's going to be doing the uh, timing belt as it is his job. I'm just nipping in just to irritate him a little bit more than anything and waffle while he does it. Just show you a bit more of the process as well. So the next one you'll see is uh, Dave doing his thing and uh, we'll go from there. Hi, hello, engine bay. We've got the petrol. It's a gun belt. Two variable pulleys. There's how you det determine active cylinder technology. And we print out the specifications of these here. So I've written their ACT just to show that it is ACT. And we're, we're dealing with active cylinder technology. So the tolerances are a lot different for active cylinder technology than just the normal variable valve. As you can see, Dave is, has turned it onto its lock. Yeah, I'll up until here. That uh, is going into the bottom of the engine. I would show you, but it's an absolute nightmare. And it's quite difficult to show you. But it goes into the crank. We'll get a tool. That is Dave's uh, backside you have just seen. So just down there, you'll see where Dave's hand is screwing a crank tool. Now it's not a pin as such, it locks up against the crank and uh, it still can be moved backwards while it's uh, actually uh, in position. So you have always got to be careful of that. And if you need to, get an apprentice or someone just to stand there and hold it on the locks while you're fiddling around. But that's the uh, the timing, or the crank side, sorry. And that's all that Dave's doing now. So he's just down there. He's popped it on its lock. Now the engine is a stop-ish. This is what he's gonna do. He's moving it now, and as you see there, it's locked tight, it's not going anywhere forward. But like I say, it can still go back, so you have always got to be careful of that. And as you see here, this is the timing tool that we are using today all computerized and this is another belt that you see there and just a small belt we ain't got to worry about that one today we're just doing the gun belt so those are specifications and now if we compare them to the specifications we've got so it's intolerance on the inlet so you get minus 1.3 plus or minus one and a bit so that's your tolerance too so that's absolutely fine and then on the exhaust camshaft which is red you've got plus 0.8 with a tolerance so plus or minus one and a half again so absolutely pop on so what dave's going to do is uh, do his bit while i irritate him a little bit more so he's going to lock the cams off we don't need them moving at all the tolerances on these are absolutely as fine as it gets so he talks the stops on to a predetermined torque i think it's nine newton meters on these and then you'll see on the uh, computer screen that now it's got flashing brakes just there showing that it is locked off and it does create an annoying beep as well just to let you know as, a, as an audio that it is locked off so now Dave is free to uh, do what he needs to do to change the belt so if you look just down there if I pop the torch you see just above my finger that's the tensioner and now there is a special spanner for said tensioner which looks a little bit something like that so that's what Dave's going to do with a 13mm spanner just to undo so I have asked him, he's not, he doesn't mind being on film at this moment in time. That could change if it doesn't go to plan. So all he's doing is undoing the tensioner. But this is purely staged for the video. This is not a customer's car. This is not a, a final job. This is purely staged so we can show the timing element of the TSI engines, this one in particular with the ACT. So, not going to go out until the full proper Volkswagen instructions have been followed just to make you aware. Mile 40, you can see. So we've got the top end of the belt off. That's a bit snapped. He's working at warp factor 10, <laughs> which isn't a problem because this is how Dave usually works. And he's going to nip down and down to the bottom, take it off the crank. And you'll see him just lift the boat out of the engine bay. It's a bit of a faff on the back pulley, just because of where it's sat, as you can see there. It's like a bit of snake charming. You've just got to play a little float when it out it comes. A little bit of rough housing. go. 
go. He fought with it, but we're there. That is the timing belt out. We're still on the lock, so I'll just pick the screen back up so you can see. Coffee your eyes gone to sleep. Uh, it will move, it will move. But don't worry, there's no belt attached for the minute. When Dave has put the belt back on, which he's got any done, again, just for demonstration purposes, this car will not be driven until full effects have been followed. So he's going to pop the belt on now. I don't really need to film this bit, so the next stage you'll see is the belt on and we'll show you the timing process. Belt is on, as you see there. Now sometimes you do get an issue with the uh, specs. Not so much the specs, but it does move. So the only thing Dave's not done at the minute is tension the belt. Now we're going to watch him in action, tensioning this belt. So all we're doing is watching a visual representation of that tool just there. So we're watching it on the screen. We want to see about minus 0.7. Wait, again. Minus 0.7 is uh, will be a good place to be. Now again, you can just move these. We can adjust away. So all we need to do is check the specs again. So we're looking at the specs. The exhaust camshaft can be 0.8 plus or minus 1.5. Just a touch out as we speak. And 0.9. And as you can see, the inlet is minus 2.2. It's absolutely fine. That is, it's, uh, well within tolerance there. It's just the exhaust one. So all we're doing is watching Dave down there with his spanner, making uh, making it look pretty. Again, it's just so I cut out all the bits where you were, you see us fine with the belt and bits like that. There's nothing really uh, too strenuous on that. So all Dave's done, he's unlocked the brakes now and we're in spec on both sides. So now he's taking the crank pin out, which is down here. Again, just get it there. You can see his hand, more the tattoos than anything. He's just undoing the pin, which holds it on the, uh, the cat, well, stops it. It's not a hole, it's not a pin, it's a, uh, it just butts up against the crank stop it moving one way only. So once his hand dives out of the way, we will see. So you've seen an engine be turned over before, it's only got a big tilt on the crank down there as you can see. So we're just going to watch it on the screen. Again, all this is is a visual representation of this whole turning here. So if you hear him shout, he's probably punched from it because compression's taken over. So we go over, do the nominal amount of turns for an engine, we should turn it over twice by hand. Now the pin's going back in. So he's hand down there again. Now all he's gonna do is crank it over again just until it sits on that lock. So it has to be in all the way, the crank pin, and it has to be torqued up to a specified torque to make sure it's all right. So now it's in, Dave's gonna put it up You'll see it come to an abrupt stop. And it's very still on. Beautiful. And if we compare them to the specs that we've got printed out, we'll just pop them underneath so you can see a bit of everything. You've got minus 1.3 plus or minus one and a half. Absolutely fine on the inlet, which is the blue one. And on the uh, exhaust, plus 0.8 plus or minus one and a half, so it's absolutely bang on. Well within the specs, and the, the specs are tighter on ACT, and the ACT is these bits here. So that's it, that's fully timed up. That's your uh, timing tool there for the cams. And that is your finished belt. There it is. So all they've got to do now is build it up, start it up, and uh, that's the timing done on a, a 1.4 TSI with active cylinder technology that's it all there we are i can do the outro now um with you actually being able to hear me not in a show a workshop anymore so that was just me and dave just wanted to show you just a quick overview it's not the full process at all it's just a quick overview of setting up the timing on the 140 tsi's active cylinder technology or not if it's got if it's that set up 
that's the tool you use. That's the official tool as the, the tolerances on these engines are very, very tight. Um, if they're not set up that way, they can either not start, not run properly, misfire, judder. They can be awful to drive. So this is why we set them up this way. So like I say, just a little, little bit of a fun video just to show you how it is, what it is. Um, and yeah, just to show you how to time one up. Um, obviously the sequences and steps have been shortened just for video purposes, um, just to keep it entertaining more than anything. Cause some, some of the parts do drag on. There's nothing really to show on video. It is just little bits, um, to get you to the end end product. So thank you for coming along. I hope it's been an entertain, entertaining video. Dave enjoyed doing it as well as I did. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.